What's up, guys? Let's get right into this voiceover from Tuesday's workout, which was, what did I do this week? Chest and shoulders together. So I did chest and shoulders. The next day I did back and arms. The next day I did legs. And then I repeated that. And then I had an off day, which will be tomorrow, by the way. So six days on, one day off. Current off day is set on Friday. So this PR workout right here is showing us 275 for six reps on the first set, 275 for five reps on the next set. And then on the next two sets, instead of doing what I usually do, which is drop down to 225 after my quote-unquote strength sets, I went ahead and I kept it at 245. So I kept a 10 on each side on top of the plates. And I cranked out two good sets of eight. And I was really pleased with that. Um, you know, I want to... I want to move the heaviest amount of weight for a decent amount of reps. I pretty much can on bench. So at this point, you know, when I'm at this heavier body weight, when I'm at this, this phase where I'm pretty strong, it doesn't make sense for me to go to 225 for every workout and kind of bang out as much as I can when I can go to 245 and sort of work my way up at 245 with what I used to be able to do with 225. So that's sort of how I was doing this workout didn't go quite as high rep on the bench just because I'm generally feeling stronger and I'm keeping it under 10 reps for bench as of now. Might change in the future a little bit, but that's the range I'm liking for bench. Um, you know, it feels good. I can still get a pump, but I'm still prioritizing that strength and uh, not too low. I wouldn't really ever go under five, to be honest. I, I think the six to eight range is pretty much ideal for me when it comes to the barbell bench press, but the next movement I did was the incline dumbbell press. And believe it or not, it didn't get recorded. I don't know what happened. I set my camera up, but I guess it just the clip didn't make it through somehow. So what you just saw was not the incline dumbbell press. That was actually my shoulder pressing movement. So at this point in the workout, I completed three pressing movements. The barbell bench, the incline dumbbells, and the shoulder dumbbell military press seated. So then I went ahead and I did some more shoulder work and the rest of the workout is pretty much shoulder chest hypertrophy type work in the higher rep range on machines. But, um, the, you know, this week of training as a whole to talk about that a little bit felt very good. I noticed in the beginning of the week, I was much more easily PRing than I was towards the second half of the week, which is definitely normal for me in the beginning of the week. I'm fresh. I'm not fatigued from anything really, but aside from that, towards the end of the week, you know, not only do you have fatigue built up from the workouts and the training sessions throughout the week, but just like your week in general, um, you know, sort of the accumulation of just nights where you may have not had had a ton of sleep from whatever it is, work or school, um, sort of all that stuff just builds up. So your last training session of the week before your off day, you might notice is kind of your weaker training session uh, in strength. But that's definitely no excuse to go in and, and treat it like that. You should definitely go in like it's your, you know, your fresh, you know, 110 percent training session. But keep in mind that you know you may be a little bit weaker towards the end of the week. That's just something I notice in my training, and I don't think it gets talked about too much, especially if you like to go hard, high volume and just train uh, with heart, you, then you'll notice that. If you're not really programming things like scientifically ideal perfectly, you'll kind of notice that. But that was the training uh, session from Tuesday. And uh, the rest of the video, I think, is pretty much Wednesday. I show you a package that I got in the mail from one of my good friends. And a short video, but I'm going home this weekend. So stay tuned for some footage in the home gym. All right, guys. Later. Chillin' bras, chillin' in between class hangout. Alright guys, check this out. Just picked up this package, this mail package from uh, the mail room at my school. And I find this really cool. Long story short, this guy Alan, who uh, I think he found me through Beyond the Week. You know, Brian Turner from Humorous Fitness and Lanky Progress TV. 
and Obese to Beast, if you know those guys. I think he, he found me through there, and he sent me some apparel, a hat a while back. And uh, he actually has another package coming for me in just two days, but he sent me this today. Well, that's when it came at least. It just came today. Reduce your ketchup. If you watch my channel, you know how much I use this stuff. And uh, it's, just, it's just really thoughtful to kind of go out of your way to just randomly send that to me. It's just really awesome because honestly, coming by this stuff is not that easy in a... Uh, in, gro in grocery stores it doesn't they don't usually have it in large quantities at least in the grocery store near me and also they sm they sell it in smaller bottles so you know if I'm at the grocery store and I get a few I do run out quickly so he just sent me a whole package of six so that'll last me a decent amount of time so thank you Alan for that it means a lot dude and I'll make sure to open up that next package that comes I appreciate you sending me stuff dude for real it means a lot thanks for the support I appreciate it Alright bros, check it out. Pre-workout meal going down, two scoops away, two packets of oats, two muffins, double chocolate, and a chocolate chip right here. So, probably break up one of these muffins, put it in the oats, Regan style, pre-back and arms, meal going down. The perfect bite of muffin and proats. Alright guys, got back from the mail room a second time. And the same person who gave me the package I showed you before with the ketchups mail me this entire package. So basically meal prep supplies, three stacks of these black bowls with the lids right here. And you just can pack meals in these easily and then throw out the bowl because they're plastic. I'm pretty sure they're disposable. I don't think you're supposed to reuse these. Maybe you are, maybe I'll read about it inside, but that's awesome because this will last me a ton of time and it will also save me time and money. So dude, thank you a lot again. I appreciate it. Shout out to Alan. His Instagram I will put on the screen.